Hello, everybody. This is our third vlog. <laughs> the energy. <laughs> the energy of this man. <laughs> Aspire oh for it. Uh, <laughs> we just finished, well, five sessions. We did so some game. huge, some huge drops this last session and the session before. So uh, five uh, sessions of, of big drops, man. So what's yeah, <laughs> from uh, sessions ten to fifteen, which is which we just finished, it's it's been quite a lot for you guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we uh during during session ten is when we had our last one. So from. The last point we had uh, Gen getting kidnapped. Kenzo was made into a zombie. We had uh, My the almost close death of yeah, Alexander. The, yep, we had that was a big one. Uh, Gen being almost near death himself for a different reason. Uh, Ray had his big moment of near death uh, experience with his, his infection. And Aaron is missing. Yeah. If not just dead. Question is. Yeah. No, no, no. Is it an actual. Oh. 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 oh thoughts. Oh, they don't know where he is. That means his chip isn't telling them where he is and they can't bring him in with True. the chip. True. Well, then There's what if... one thing. With Aaron early on, that I'm surprised you guys didn't bring up, and it's because Aaron's been away for a while. Chris, if you remember all the way back to session two, remember what Aaron said? He hey, came I came in late and missed my sorting ceremony. Oh, he never had a chip! He never had a chip! Never, never. <laughs> well, then how would he have that room, though? But was it already. You need to do the sorting ceremony in order to have your brain prepped for the chip. But he'd already been accepted. He'd already gotten in. He was just late to the set. So the sorting, so he didn't go through it. Oh, I should have been late. Yeah, would have been nice if all of us had been late. <laughs> no, and then no think about us, it. But... Think about it, Chris. Aaron was almost always on the cusp of being expelled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah true. What if no like okay if I remember correctly when when people do tasks they always have one that's that's different than the others a control group uh, and those that are not to see how uh, different Being different results. Variable. Yeah. There. So what could have been is that Aaron was just made late. He was he just got there late, and they used them as a variable to the whole scheme of things. It's a possibility, but yeah. at the same point of, uh, if they've been doing this for a while, they may not be using test groups anymore. They might just be looking for the optimal pattern. And yeah. the optimal pattern is just whichever one of our many then, variations of personal choice, yeah. but then, they, personal but choice, it, they allow. But then wouldn't they have already, you know, done, ex uh, done something to fix that because you know he's been there like for what three years already something like that so it, they already it, it, know it, that he doesn't have a chip here here's the thing is that aaron's not a too horribly intelligent person so pretty much like it was very easy for them to get what they wanted out of aaron without really trying to chip him because he was already kind of like an asshole and the bad boy and then like Maybe his brain just doesn't function like the rest of them. He doesn't really think about anything before he says it. His brain just kind of works in, like, weird patterns. <laughs> like, it was a very inherent drop that I said that he showed up late and didn't get sorted. And Vlad mentioned oh, that the that. initial process required you to go to the sorting ceremony. Then they did the rest of the op later. Okay. All right. That's fair. Interesting. I I had completely forgotten that he'd showed up late. Yeah. Yeah. No, that flowed out. I don't mind. So, you know, well, 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 at that point, at that point, we don't really think that we have fucking chips in our brain like session two. So yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like, what yeah. kind of plot reveal was that? Matrix goes out the window. You guys are just being mind controlled by fucking electronic devices. 
Yeah, for, yeah. for, you know, those watching at home, you know, hi, one or two people. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it had been a running uh, uh, idea between the lot of us that we were in some kind of matrix or some kind of controlled scenario. Yes. I, I essentially think... since uh, we learned that we couldn't leave. So, you know, obviously we didn't figure it out too, too early, but we, we picked up pretty quick that our minds were not our own. We just thought we were in some kind of video game uh, or some kind of... Uh, I think that was something. before the... We already knew that our minds were our own before the the whole scenario of the wall. We knew that since the yacht. We we had a, like, an inkling feeling yeah. that... We, yeah. We, you guys... Yeah, okay. We, I mean, we kind of thought of it then, but it wasn't concrete enough for yeah. me to really... You, you guys were getting breadcrumbs. No one really put it together until Chris got abducted and had that conversation with Vlad. And yeah. at that point, I'm like, it is time for this plot reveal stuff to happen. So I feel like it did a very good yeah. job of staying hidden in the background until oh, you then. You, you did. You did. Yeah. Well, we had our theory that, like, at a certain session, uh, it, was, it was after, eventually. Uh, um... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say this last stack of five sessions has had some of my favorite moments from the entire party. Like, in the beginning, with uh, Chris getting escaped, just, like, the intensity that it went to. Aaron's final scene being what it was, the hunk reveal that happened shortly after Vivian's concert, uh, Daniel saving Gen's life. There was there was quite a bit that happened over the whole thing. Uh, Ray's private RP with the CIA. <laughs> oh, and the fact that both uh, Ray and Gen are infected with something. And, and that Gen has been infected for years. And no and one bothered to tell him yep, that, hey, and, and now those pills and you could die. And now Leon's at play in the situation. Mm. Yep, Candy's around. At this point, we should, we should just call, we should call this uh, Resident Evil 9 uh, electric school shenanigans. <laughs> Resident Evil 10 electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my personal favorite uh, from the last five sessions was the Kenzo zombie reveal because that you guys were just not ready for it. <laughs> we were. That was the whole yeah, shot. That, that was another one of those big drops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Gen Gen was freaking out. I was just Alexander was just like, oh, let me see, let me see. <laughs> Gen had the normal human reaction of, shit, there's an undead creature. Back the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry that you've got zero, absolutely no self-preservation instincts. I mean, hey, I survived Terragusa. I can survive Kenzo. Because of Parker. <laughs> Shh. We don't need to go into details. Oh, He's no, dead. let's go into the nitty-gritty details of how you almost died several times before and this he... man found you and brought you to safety. And then you also stabbed I mean, yourself like in the wrist. Time. So that was a thing that happened. I mean, it was an experiment. We gotta know our limits, you know. Except, a, you're not, uh, you're not really someone that should experiment with that because you're a defect. So your limits uh, aren't the same. As I mean, else. my mold was supposed. Well, what we're guessing, my mold was supposed to be the crazy guy that True. everybody thought was crazy. So it lined up, you know. It could have been Alexander being influenced, or it could have been Alexander, you know, himself. So wait a minute, what, what, what's, what's Ray's and Gen's planning that just two buff boys there ready to kick the shit out of some, some chumps? Get, guess uh, you were a little more like a now. loner. Gen is a loner martial arts master with the uh, capacity for science well into the advanced stages of modern biology and chemistry. Ray is an athletic swimmer that could be, an, uh, like, honestly, an Olympic athlete. A teacher. And, yeah, and a teacher. Teach the next next generation of this school. Yeah. Even. So that could be a thing. <laughs> I don't know. We're we just two bad boys. <laughs> but hey, now now yeah. Alexander is in danger since you know they know that he that his chip is defective. So 
they'll try to fit him in a different mold or forcefully chuck him in the same mold. We don't know. Or something else. Yes. Who knows? Or they could, you know, make it to where we have to kill you by sending a message to uh, mine and Ray's brain that says, you know, snap the tiny man's neck. First of all, one, I'm not tiny. That was that was that was Daniel. I'm sorry. What's your what's your body at? Yeah, I was gonna ask the same thing. My body? Yes. Is that eight? Do, okay. Do, do you even body, bro? Oh, surprising. <laughs> You I bodied, bro. I got body? my body at eight, okay? Uh, ah, that's, that's interesting. Considering wanna... we only have like seven more minutes with skull, skull, like, what's going through your head with all these five sessions as we get closer to like uh, I the am... extreme survival horror well, mode? <laughs> so, well, but she's about busy time because in the first three sessions, I think it was just the infection that was bothering Ray the most. Or whatever happened to him, basically, where he just suddenly felt suddenly felt woozy, found himself in the hospital, found himself in the in the med- medical bay, fucking with the veins popping out from his skin, and then the whole PA you know, stuff happened. Um, which, yeah. So at that point, I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" <laughs> and and, the, and and from there, I knew the game was changing. Um, so it is it is a dramatic change. <laughs> Of facing. <laughs> how Here's was thing, uh, right? how was him finally finding out that Julie's like a presence? <laughs> oh, devastated, devastated. Uh, as I basically wrote, he was confused. He doesn't know if it's real or not because of you know that fucking hologram shit um, with the blood. But devastated still. It's like his best friend is just. She's not dead. What? Well, she's remember either, what, what she's either a puppet said. or uh, another mirage. Some, yeah, my mirage. Yeah. Neither of which is fun. Yeah. I believe Vlad was your assistant to begin with, so. Could be. Yeah. So uh, it probably is. One thing I will say that's not spoilery is there's no assigned assistance. There's just assistants. Okay. Oh, okay. Because I would find weird because I, I don't think Vlad ever was. I, I mean, I never talked much with Vlad. So. No, that's, why that's... did only Skull hear it? Um, right. Well, one hmm? one Alexander's chip is fucked up, and then two is that how it works is that pretty much the ad the administration of the system is very chinzy about how much information gets out so it's like they could have just turned gen's like audio off for a second yeah or i don't know i just really like skull's character so i was like you get to hear it fuck everyone else (laughs) (laughs) right here's a question for you how do you think the mutation is going to affect your chip do you think it will affect I, it? I I don't know. I think to a certain degree it could it could. Maybe you could ooh, here's a here's a good theory, here's an interesting theory. What if uh if he does turn, say he does turn, but a hot, let's say he is turned or whatever with the infection, potentially hypothetically speaking. Other than you just you can be controlled by the fucking whoever has the chip. Let's Maybe. think of this there's another theory. You know how Ken like how everybody in the school has a chip. Kenzel has done his um his True. what was it? No, he never he had put... the chip. No, yeah, Kenzo uh, never had a chip. I think they said they Kenzo was, was allowed. Kenzo. Kenzo was allowed free control of his chip because his father donated to the school so heavily. Was what Vlad said. But he still has a chip. Now let's say you know how Kenzo got turned into a zombie, right? And True. he had some consciousness, right? True. What if that chip keeps you consciousness? Uh, Keeps a part of your consciousness. You Good know? question. Also, that would, that would be an interesting theory. Because you know, if we think about it, most infected don't have their consciousness, as in Raccoon City. Other than, I believe, what was it, the X and all that stuff, Mister X? Four. Or... Yeah, the super variants get. Uh, super variants. Also four. Also four, technically. Uh, well, so four, they... four is a parasite, not a virus. I'll just go ahead and okay. lay out the details. 
Uh, the zombies being able to moan and say loose words here and there is nothing new. Like, that's a thing that can be dated back to, like, original Resident Evil games. Heck, even in oh. the remake of 3, um, Brad, after he gets infected, uh, Martin is shooting him. And then Martin thinks he's still alive. Not our Martin, but Martin Bravinoff in uh, Resident Evil 2 because he's already bitten. How he got bit was Brad said sorry to him and Martin and thought, hey, he's still alive, and then hesitated, and that's when he got him. <laughs> okay. Actually, no, his name well, is Martin, still... not Martin. <laughs> but it's a possibility, let's, let's just say. We'll see, we'll see, yeah. Um, I, I hope I roleplayed Ray well, well for the whole Julia confusion scene of just him just going like, what the fuck, what the fuck? Yeah. No, no, I mean, it's pretty yeah. realistic, like, Julia's been dead to Ray for quite a while at this point, because what, Julia went years. missing in 2005, we're in 2012, so it's been about seven years-ish? Uh, yeah, uh, a long fucking time. So, so he's 17 years old, right? So it's been... Yeah. Seven years old. It was seven years ago since so that whole stuff happened. So yeah, for him just to get this entire bomb gel drop on him is like... I believe she's still alive, you know? Because he never uh, said she was young, she was a teen. She appeared yeah. to us as a teen. So there's a possibility that she was lot, uh, drifted away, mm -hmm. but she was picked up by something. It could have been a boat that picked her up. It could have been something. Yeah, no, I, I'm good. It could be anything, but at that point, uh, yeah, at that, Ray is now more confused than ever. But I don't, hey, so, my my thing is, I don't think she's necessarily fully alive anymore. I doubt it. Yeah, I, whatever she is is still growing, but her body's in a state of like a uh, still young, like the mold. Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of like that. I, I but... will say the mold from 7 and 8 has no context or place in this campaign, so that's just so you guys right, don't overthink it. Well, that's, oh, isn't no, that... no, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying she is the mold. I'm saying, that, like, like the mold, she is still alive, but she's not Julia anymore. Yeah, could be. I mean, that's my guess, but that's what I'm guessing also. So it's probably like a, just a another person in Julia's body maybe it's it's gonna be undyingly fascinating for me when we get the ray on julia scene whenever it happens Oof. if we do it's possible ray might die well before then because uh while i made this initial zombie fight with you guys pretty easy that still could have gone badly quick for the majority of your party and there was a couple times it got close yeah. vivian Vivian thought was which, which is why the first thing Gen's gonna do is when we get into a fight, if you're not me or Ray, or maybe I, but de depending on how good he is at uh, martial Sakura. arts. Sakura. Or Sakura. Oh, yeah, sorry, Sakura. If you're not me, Ray, or Sakura, you see a zombie, you get behind the rest of us. Do not Basically. attempt to assist us, just get behind us. I was wondering what to think about it. <laughs> You've got a gun. You can shoot from behind us. No, because then what if I shoot you guys instead? Shoot the ones around us. Don't shoot at the ones in front, directly in front of us. I mean, that's what Martin or step did. to the side. Yeah, that's like... what Martin... I mean, Martin didn't do it, but like... Well, I'm saying Martin was thing. shooting the ones that he could safely shoot. Yes. The only thing about Martin is, uh, again, it's going to be like, you know step farther back. You don't need to be that close. If you're one turn from them charging and ripping into you, you're too close. Yeah. True, true, true. But uh, before I head off, because you have to head off soonish, uh, it's been an interesting five sessions, but at least how I see it right, and also the overall plot of the game and the characters and stuff that we have to go through. Uh, I mean, hell, we have the game almost died. <laughs> uh, Freaking 
Alex has, bre- has broken free for a bit from the control and has maybe gone a little bit uh, and is still crazy. <laughs> uh, mm, mm. Slightly, slightly. But he's still crazy. It could have been something of a habit, you know, he got from, from yeah. the ship. So, um, who knows yeah. how, how much it affects the human brain? We don't know that. They do. Yeah. I, I was just surprised with the whole Vladimir stuff, also just him being in the system. I was like, what? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, so my god, lots of stuff. All right, I gotta get it going now because I need to sleep. So, right. thanks for the games. See I will you, catch you all later. See ya. So, uh, I still want to complete the tournament. What I still want to complete the tournament. <laughs> 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 Buddy, the tournament's over. It's been canceled. Here's here's your participation award. <laughs> nah, um, I'll go ahead and carry on the vlog. So, uh, I think Vlad just turning out to be a system assistant was also a surprise to you guys, like quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I mean, I knew he was an assistant, as in, like, I knew he was a part of the system. I didn't know he was digital. Yeah. So uh, th- that also brings uh, into question, like, what was really happening in the scenes you guys were when with Vlad? Because that's just the chip suggesting he's there. Yeah, so that, that would mean that, uh... You were just talking to air. <laughs> Yeah. A, that the system wanted me to know. Well, that... B, and, that... And Gen still got beaten up by Vlad. Yeah, that, that's what I was about to say. Is like, And that either the chip can inflict physical damage localized, or somebody... It, it imprinted his face on someone else. Or it could be... Let's say it was actually Vlad himself at that time, his physical body there, because we we don't know if he's a, a, actually an AI or just you know a uh, trick of the light. You know, you're a you're able to like it's like the magic trick with the mirror thing where two things that I think you guys know. You're suggesting that there was two Vlads, one AI, one real Vlad. Not more like an A. Mm. Kind of, but no. Uh, you're suggesting that Vlad has a physical body somewhere? Mm-hmm. And that he can use that body when necessary, but more often than not, he is limited to where he can be and thus is only a projection. There. Thank you. Um, Here's a thought. Where the fuck did we get that tablet from? Tablet was in the room. But I gave it to Vlad. And he set it back on the table, and then he disappeared. And I asked what happened to the tablet. You guys must have left it on the table then. Because I only said Vlad disappeared. I thought I'd have free reign. <laughs> oh, well. No, 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 no. My, my question isn't, you know, uh, what happened to the tablet. Because, yeah, I, I knew that it had just been put on the table. How was Vlad manipulating the tablet? That's the question. Again, he said the chip mentally suggests things to you. I mean, like we said, it could alter our memory. That's what I had said from session three. Well, no, it's just I... like someone else could have given you the tablet and like where Vlad was standing and you only see Vlad give it to you. Vlad was purely just like a system AI maintenance did, deal. Yeah. He, huh. His only existence was in our head. He was never actually capable of physically altering the world around him. That's why I said you have to wonder what's really happening in the scenes of Vlad or other assistants, because 
something's got to be there so you can perceive them interacting with stuff. Yeah. What if what if Alexander's not even there? To you guys, what if he's already taken away? Ah, <laughs> uh, then we got bigger issues. I wonder how a player would react to that kind of like reveal that like you're not even real, just like your your display <laughs> AI that's only perceived as real to the rest of your team. I'll be like, what is life but just a projection? I can tell you right now, what? as I as a game master wouldn't feel comfortable doing that to a player character because I don't like taking away agency to that degree. <laughs> I mean, as long as the player knew ahead of time and was okay with it, then I, I think I'd, I'd be cool with that. I'm just saying, I know I'd be like, cool having, having it middle. as a reveal... Just without telling them feels yeah. like a bit of a takeaway. A dick move, yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, at, at that point, that's stepping a bit too far, in my eyes. Oh, man, though. And then we gotta we gotta think, the people that we're taking or the people that are our friends, are they actually... Are they real, yeah. Or just a stand-in for others? Because it's basically envir an environment to grow people in a certain way, you know? Yeah. Like, is uh, is Martin actually there, or is he another assistant? I know Bindi is an assistant, period. No, yeah. However, she seems to be different, slightly. Yeah, because they wouldn't. They would. I. I. I doubt they would have given Alexander a, a back door to you know the system. Whatever. Yeah. Of course, at the same point, that back door had a very specific lock against the advanced area. Here's here's the other thing is that you have to remember that Vlad said his blindfold was pulled by Bindi. Yeah. What if what if the assistants don't know that they're the assistants? And only Bindi can reveal it to them. Or let's say Bindi was sentient, who got or like a like an assistant who got. Who broke Free from programming. And able to, you know, do the same thing for other assistants. I mean, it would make sense, especially like if she's related to you and that's something in your guys' genetic code that makes it... Um, that gives you a certain quality needed to break free. It doesn't guarantee freedom, but it allows you to crack the code a little. Because mm -hmm. if I... I mean, I had a sister... I had a sister the whole entire time. It's not it's not a mirage or memory that can be altered. It's physically how <laughs> Alexander, Alexander has always seen his sister as his pillar. And his sister knew that. Now, if somebody who didn't know about Alexander and Bindi, they wouldn't have been able to the other um, thing that you gotta realize is that Bindi was like a one for one copy of your sister, appearance wise. Mm hmm. And she went Wait. by a different name. One to one copy. That to me indicates that uh, it may not be Bindi who has, or sorry. Bindi might be the brain inside of your sister's digital body. Sarah? Yeah. Sarah is the body. Bindi is the brain. Or the chip. Yeah, chip. The, whatever intelligence is behind Bindi currently. 
there mm. will be more explanation for Bindi. I didn't mean to be seeding a theory with one for one copy. I meant to say, like, physically she looks identical to Alex's sister. Because Alex in general has black hair. He just dyes it. Mm -hmm. Can we be honest, I actually he had black hair anyway. No, no my character model red. has red hair. Ah. I'm okay. saying I just he just dyes his hair red. Fair. Then uh other moments that we had that were great, uh Gen losing your boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, from the sounds of it, he might actually be alive. Who knows? Uh, it was a little questionable yeah. there with Kenzo, though, and the last time we did see Aaron, he was collapsing from blood loss. Yeah. But then yeah. we had soldiers going through the woods, so they could have found his body. Speaking of soldiers, Gen plans to kill them if he ever gets the chance. He... <laughs> You guys might want to hold off a little bit before you start USS hunting out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not going to go good, I promise you that. I know, I know. But Gen can fantasize, and he won't put his friends in danger. So, uh... What if... Go ahead. I I, rem I remember this scene from when um when they were going up the mountains. It was I believe it was Ray, Martin, and Aaron. Right? I believe they stopped the car at one point, but they saw Julia, and then they blacked out. Ray wasn't with them. No, it was Aaron. Aaron was the one I'm... that spotted Julia in the woods, and then he woke up outside of the building that Yen was being held in his truck. Then how did he feign it if he doesn't have a chip? Because Julia might have other ways of controlling people beyond the chip itself. The chip just makes it easier. And Aaron was the only one that ended up in the in the general vicinity of Gen because Martin, Ivo, and Aaron were all looking for Gen. Mm -hmm. Ah, so it was Ivo. Okay, I thought it was Ray. No, I forgot he was a hospital. Not yeah, Ray, Ray was kind of knocking on Death's door for a little while there. <laughs> Anything else? Nah, it's the problem with doing uh, five sessions before a uh, a video or before a vlog. Is... And then having a month of break before the yeah. last one. Yeah, that you, last you, you one. Forget. That last one couldn't be helped. <laughs> oh, but I, I love after the pop. Like I, I didn't know I had a chip. I just like all oh, the pop, the popping sound. Like no, oh, I'm again, just make... again, you pass that roll by the skin of your teeth, and it's a good thing you did. Otherwise, we'd be having a different party member than Alex with the group. That's why I'm like, I, I feel like I should change Alex a little bit through that, like, because I, cause I don't know what, what that pop did. So I'm like, okay, what can I do? My, what can happen to Alexander? And no, like, that was oh. that was a very ballsy move, and it paid off for you is all I'm going to say. <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew for a fact that there was something electronic to do with your brain at that point. Didn't know exactly that it was a mind control chip, but I knew it was something. I mean, I got free for free from some restrictions that I don't I don't know what restrictions were placed on me. But all right, thanks for watching the vlog, everyone, and we'll see you in session sixteen.